here again to try this Kakuro puzzle by David Altizio, but now with a duplicate variation. So we're going to take the same clues we did before, but now try to repeat a digit when fulfilling them. I've constructed a few of these before, and so I already know there's some force patterns like this 24 and 3 cells, but let me just talk to you how to think about this. Take the largest possible digit, try to double it. 9 plus 9 plus 6 is a valid set. If we take the next largest, 8 plus 8, we leave behind 8, that can't work, and 7 plus 7 plus 10 can't work, so we actually have a single value of 6 and 9. One of the constraints in these puzzles is we typically don't want to leave behind two cells that are odd, at least they can't be doubled if you do. And so if I take a case like putting a 6 here, I leave behind 5, so these don't double, but 6 being doubled to take us to 12 would extend this reach. So where this was starting as a 6-9 cell, looking at the intersecting clues, this must be a 9. That actually forces a 1 and 1 to make this work. If I take this as a 9, I leave behind 12. That could be 3 and 9 to repeat the 9 in the start, or it could be 6 plus 6. If I take this as a 6, I leave behind 15. That will have to be 6 and 9 to make this work. Uh, just looking at some of these digits, this 21 coming down is a pretty big sum, so 1 and 3 looks pretty hard. Um, if that is 1 and 3, at least behind 17, which wouldn't be able to double, so it would have a 9 and 8 to go in. That's not going to go. If this is 1 and 6, that leaves behind 14. That could be 6 and 8 doubling the 6, or 7 and 7. If it's 1 and 9, that leaves behind 11. It will need a double still, which will be a 9 with a 2. So we've got a lot of choices apparently here, but we've got a big digit and a big digit, so these are going to have some conflicts. If this is as small as a 6, certainly a 7, 8, or 9 will take this out of range. And if this is a 6, this also has to be a 6. That makes this 12 with the repeat already, but then we'd have to have two ones. So 6, 6, 1, 1 isn't going to work. So we actually have a limitation where this can only be the 2, which means this is 9 and 9. Indeed, coming up. Uh, what are some other things we can do? I think like this cell also looks like it's got some issues, and that's because, again, I can if I make this a 6, I'm leaving behind an odd sum. This adds up to 7, this will have to add up to 7 as well, but it's got to carry one of the repeated digits from above. But if it's a 1, it would force a 6 as well. We'd have 1, 6, 1, 6, and that would have two digits repeated. So this can't have a 6. It can be a 3, 9. But with, what is the way we get all the way up to 21? 3 with 9 works. Uh, 6 with 6 could, but there's no longer a 6 here. And 9, 9, this can't be a 3. So this is a 3 here. This is a 9 here. This is a 6. That gives us 8 with a sum of 6 to go. That could be 2 and 4, repeating the 2 already in the grid, or it could be 3 of 3. This coming down is 1, 2, 3 would be 8, 7, or 6. So the repeat has to be in this cell with the column clue above. That will need to be this 3. That makes this a 7. This will be another 3, and we finished one corner of the grid. Pretty tricky, but uh, it's sort of the way to think through these duplicate puzzles. A 6 works the same way as a 24 does in 3 cells. We're just starting on the small end, so 1 plus 1 plus 4 works, but 2 plus 2 plus 2 does not, and 3 plus 3 plus 0 does not. And here's another cell where I don't want to leave behind an odd sum. If this is a 4, I leave behind 3 in 2 cells. 4 can't repeat, and 3 isn't 1 number times 2, so this will have to be a 1 here. If that's a 1, what's left for the 7? It could be 1 plus 5 or 3 plus 3. And this now is an odd digit, meaning these two digits will add up to another odd number. So that's going to be problematic unless we've got a big digit down here. If this were a 1, we leave behind 15 with no double. If this is a 3, we leave behind 13. We'd have to be 3 with 10 for the double. That doesn't work. This can be a 5. And the 5 is going to have to be the double digit. In this case, would pair with a 6. That puts a 1 over here. If this is a 5-6 cell, then this can't be 4, because 4 and 5 would be 9, and we'd have either 1 or a smaller value left for 2 cells. So this will have to be the 1 below and the 4 above. 1 with 5 would leave behind 4, so this could be 1 and 3 or 2 and 2, and 1 and 6 would leave behind 1 and 2. Those all look valid, but we're in a small range over here, so let's keep that in mind. We said that leaving behind an odd sum is always the one to look at, so we'll just start with the odd value. If this is 9, at least behind 9, I've got to repeat one of these digits, but I'd again have to repeat both of them. Putting 4 and 5 is the only one that repeats these, and would have too many of the same digit in the same spot. So um, this has to have instead a 6 up top, 5 down below. 4 and 6 is 10, leaves behind 8. That's not 4 and 4, so the repeat will have to be with a 6, which is like this, 2 and 6. 
getting my attention drawn to this column where if this is a two with this being a max of three and one, it only gets a sum of six with 11 left over. So I need the bigger value on the left and the smaller value here. This is now 17 with seven, eight, nine completing the sum from here. So the repeated digit has to be the one with the one below, puts in this nine, puts in the three here. That means we actually already have the repeated digit in this column. So we've got more limits on these. We didn't do it at the start, but a seven is also weirdly constrained, at least compared to what you're used to. It can be one plus one plus five. It can be two plus two plus three. It can be three plus three plus one. It never has a four near it. So actually I can do the same over here. This will be one, two, three, and five as a set. So with uh, four not allowed and two and three already used in this column, given we've got the repeated digit, we've got one and five in this option. This total sum is to 27, and so if these are 8, if this was a 1, that would be 9. We'd leave behind 18, which would have to repeat the digit 9 twice, and we can't repeat a digit again in that space. So 1 would be too small, so we're forced to go as large as 5, the only digit left in the space. Make this work. The 1 here now interacts with 14 digits remaining to have to force a doubled 7. So that looks pretty good. This is 23 with... 16 remaining, that's going to have to be 8, uh, and 8 will have to be in that, uh, and then it can be 6, 2, or 3, 5. So 6, 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8. Um, in this cell, though, we can't have the 2 or the 3 or the 5. If I actually look down this column, then this is actually 13 with 14 to go. This is also a 6, 8 constrained set. Um, only a little more I can do with some of that, like I can remove the 8 from the cell because of the vertical sum. But I think maybe what I meant to do is look at this long sum coming across. Notice that it's not repeating a digit on the left, so if this is the 8, it's going to leave behind a sum of 6, which will have to be 1 plus 1 plus 4. It's not 222 or 330. If this is 6, this adds up to 22 with 8 remaining. But 116 would repeat the 6 with the 6 and 2, 1, so it couldn't start 116. It could be 2, 2, 4, it could be 3, 3, 2, and it can't be 4, 4, 0. So I think with these being large, I get a limit of the size of 1, 2, 3, and 4 for the digits on this right side. Um, you might be quickly tempted to say 27 coming down couldn't be as small as a 1, but actually 998 is 26, so that all looks okay. But Maybe we can take some cells like this and remove some impossible values, like a 5 leaving behind 5 is no good here. Similarly, a 9 is impossible here, a 7 is impossible here, a 5 is impossible here. So this will have to be an even number like 8 with 1 and 1, 6 with 2 and 2. If this is a 4, then this larger value up here is another 4 is 8, leaving behind 19 isn't going to work. So I think once you can eliminate 7 and 9 from the cell, you actually force if 6 and 8 are in the cell, and the remaining digits will be either 1 and 1 or 2 and 2 for that double. Coming down here, this has a different side. Again, we don't want to leave behind an odd sum in these, so an 8 is an issue here because it leaves behind 5. A 6 is possible here, but it would force 1 and 6, so this would have to be a 6 and a 1 over here. So 6 is awkward, but 7 and 9 look credible. 9 would be 2 of 2, uh, 7 would be 3 with 3. I don't see any value where this is a 5. And so these look like some of the start. What we'll want to do, though, is recognize that we still have to make this full sum work out. So how is like a 6 going to work in the cell? If a 6 is here, that means this is a max of 4, and you have 8 and 9 going on. I don't think that's going to be possible. If this is an 8, uh, 8 is going to put in 1, 1. Uh, 9 up above would put in 2, 2, and 1 and 2 are incompatible over here. So 8 would have to go with 7. So at least for sure, recognize that we've got a sum of 15 in one of the modes of how this goes. Let me actually mark this better. I'm going to turn on number uh, to do this. So this is uh, 15, looks to be the sum in one mode for this. And again, that's with 6, 8 down here, and 7, 9 up here. If on the other end, we said 8 had to go with 7, if this is a 6, can 6 ever go with 7? 6 with 7 is 13, with 4 is 27, with 10, no, 6 has to go with 9. So I think this 15 is an absolute sum of these cells. 
And if that's the sum of 15, then we have a total of 8 coming across here. And the only way this works is with the sum of 4 in these. That's 2, 2, 3. So if this is 6, it's 2, 2, 9, 2, 2. That looks fine. If this is 8, 7, this is 1, 1, 3, 3. This adds to 4. This adds to 4. So there are some subtle constraints, and that looks... Uh, Sort of my attempt to use some of this notation is not doing everything I want, but 2, 2, or 1, 3, 2, 2, or 1, 3 is how this goes. And with these being 4, this always is the digit 3. And with this being 15, this set now always has to be 12. And if that's 12, this isn't 1 or 2, but this is 3, 4, this is 8, 9, and 8, 8, 7, or 9, 9, 6 are two ways this goes. So we got a good start there, but we probably still have to figure out how do we make a valid set of repeats happen. And maybe that starts from looking up at this 11 and this cell in particular. We said that the values coming across were going to be like 3, 3, 2 is one pair where this is a 3, or 4 is like 1, 1, or 4, 2, 2. Anyway, the value 4 is no longer valid in the cell because you can't have 4 work with anything to the left if the cell has to be a 3 or 4. So this is a 1, 2, 3 set. And if this is 1 and 3, and then we put a 2 in here, that would make this be a 5. So that doesn't work. And if this is 2 and 2, a 2 doesn't go in here. So this will always be a 1, 3. And the repeat will be across these cells. And the remaining sum, if this is 4 with 1, will be a 6 here. And if this is 3, it will be a 4 here. So we've got this constraint in. So this is odd, even, unknown. And so what are some sums going all the way over to here? If this is 3 and 4, that's 7. That would have to be 8 and 8 for this to work. If this is 3 and 6, that's 9. 9 and 5 doesn't work. 3, 6 with uh, an 8 and 6 would work. So this is 6, 8. And in doing all that, we actually get that in all those scenarios, the 9 isn't a valid option here. That 9 going in here would actually mean that this is now a 7 or 5, and there's no repeat. So we get that this has to be an 8. The only way we then get a repeat down here is for this to be 8 and 7. 8 and 7 was the 1, 1, 3, 3 option. Uh, 8, 7, 8 is 15, and 8 is 23 it makes this a 4, so this no longer has a 3 option. This has to be 4, 1, 1, puts in this as an 8 and a 6. 1, 1, 3 is 5, puts in a 6, and the sum of those means we need another 6 to make this work. 6 over here means the remaining digits in the space were 2 and 8. So we have a sum of 10 to go, and it's not 9, 1, 3, 7, or 4, 6. And 8 can't go in here, so this is a 2, this is an 8. We've got a sum of 16 with 13 to go, no repeats, so 4 and 9 is okay. 8 and 5 and 6 and 7 are not. So we're now just with one corner of the grid to go, and this looks like another tough corner to make progress in. Let's start maybe from this three-digit sum that's gotten to get up to 20, and um, that can be 9 plus 9 plus 2. It can be 8. Uh, well, let's actually look at 9 plus 9 plus 2 first, because uh, one thing's for sure is we can't put a 9 here. And if a 9 is actually in the cell, we leave behind 7, which is, again, an odd sum and causes problems. So once I eliminate two cells with the 9, 992 isn't an option, so that's helpful. I, it could be 884. It could be 776. It could be 668. And then by the time it's 5510, everything else is gone. So these are the, the valid options for these spaces. Notice if a 9 is in the cell, then the minimum here of 4 would leave behind 0. So this has to be a 4 below and a 9 above. Uh, if an 8 goes in here, this would get too large. Uh, a 7 would work if this can be 1s, but maybe now this is where we want to look across and say what happens with different of these values. And in particular, maybe, like, uh, how do we get something like, you know, the, the whole set to work? So first, it, can this cell be a 4? If it's a 4, this has to be 8 plus 8. And we've now eliminated that option from the grid. It actually also means this can't be a 4. So there is 4, 8, 8, but that's the only option left once an 8 can't be in the cell. If this is a 7, it would have to be 2 and 7, but the 7 can't go here, or 2 can go here. If this is a 6, at least behind 10, that could be 6 and 4. Or those both look okay. It could be 5 and 5, but a 5 can't go in here. Actually, this cell not being odd looks to be a pretty key constraint. 
And if this is an 8, the last option for it, 4 and 4 is the only sum. So I think I know for sure this is a 2, 4, 6 cell, which should help us out. This 4, 6 may also help us out. Regardless, it's going to leave behind an odd here, which will repeat one of these even digits. Um, the key constraint may be coming now from actually looking at the top end of this range. So 4 and 7 forces a 1, 1. But how does a 1 work in a 10 clue? It only works if the 1 is repeated, which is 1, 1, 8, and that's not possible. So 7 is invalid here because I can't put a 1 in the cell. If I put a 6 in the cell, I get 10 with 3 left over. That's odd. That has to be 1 and 2. There's nothing repeated here, so this must be a 4. It actually means this must be 8, 8 coming up, which means this must be 4, 4 coming across. So that actually resolved pretty quickly once we got that forcing set. Um, uh, 10 coming down with 6 to go could be 2 and 4, and in this case the, the 4 can't be in the bottom, or it could be 3 plus 3. 9 and 8 coming across is leaving behind 2 or 3 for this to work out with the repaired things. To get this to pay a pair, it's got to be 3 of 3. That makes this a 3, and that means this last value is a 2. And we're through this really challenging puzzle. So hopefully you got something from some parts of this video, certainly the intuition of some certain clues which are more forced. Also leaving behind even versus odd sums in the partial sort of two-cell spaces gave some different places that gave progress like that. Um, not expecting that this is the only way to do it, but it looked pretty forced to get low digits over here and then work through the side of the grid and figure out that we actually had like 15, 4, and 4 as uh, repeated sums in the space by just working through these particular digits. That gave us some parity into this cell. It gave us now reach into the top and with so our different constraints on the digits around this 20, we got enough to finish the grid. So that's at least my path through the puzzle. There may be others, but certainly it was a, a good workout, a really, really tough puzzle. So if you solved it on your own, congrats. And if not, it, it makes sense that you would want to watch this video to catch some more tips and tricks. So thanks, David, for the challenge, and we'll see you again soon.